Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. I know y'all probably ain't on right now, and sometimes that's probably the best. Listen, um, I'm gonna do a $10 chicken waterer that'll last for a long time. Now, this is kind of like going on the same premise as my chicken feeder. So you can go on vacation, you can go away from home, you can leave your area for a significant amount of time. That's what this is about. So the problem with homesteading and sometimes gardening, if you have livestock, if you have pets, is leaving your livestock when you have to go make a run and nobody's there to watch your livestock, feed your livestock, water your livestock. Um, all of that stuff can be solved temporarily way better than what you're doing. And a lot of people like to go out and change their water on their livestock, change their feed. They do that because either your livestock, hey, bare fruit gardening, either your livestock is uh, messing the food up, messing the water up, and you have to keep changing it every single day, two or three times or more a day. If you got a lot of chickens, that can be a problem. So I'm going to show you what I do and what I used to do on my old land. Simple as pie. I was going to make this really difficult. And I said, you know what? They don't, they don't need all of that. The system I have running in my chicken coop, you saw me using PVC. You don't necessarily need to do that. If you want to do that, I'll do a video on, a video on that. But here's the thing about it. I'm trying to keep prices low. And this PVC tubing, this is cheap. The stuff that costs the money is all of the little corners and elbows and fittings and glues. And that stuff ends up costing a lot of money. Even though this is that system is super efficient, it's cost, it's cost. The cost on it is a little high. You know, you're looking at about 40 bucks for that system. It's going to save you money and time and energy in the long run. High nearly 60. But right out the pocket, right out the gate, you're going to, you know, it, it costs a little money. It's cheaper than anything else you can do or buy. But it's still, you know, it costs you a little money. So what I'm trying to do is cut all of that cost so you can do and start your stuff right now. Okay. I'm going to show you a couple of things you're going to use, all right? Give me two ticks. All right. Number one, I'm going to show you. You can do this. Now, I got to use this five-gallon bucket again. We just want to show the pan because I done already hooked him up. You can go get you a five-gallon bucket from one of the, you know, big box stores. Cost you about $2.97. You can do what I'm about to show you. With a five gallon bucket, you can do it with a one gallon bucket, you can do it with a 30 gallon, which I'm going to show you right now. I went out today just for this and bought a 30 gallon trash can. Hey, hey, uh, Deborah, this is oh, Deborah, or is it Deborah? Okay, I let me close these blinds so I can get some light out here, okay? Because the camera keeps on resetting on me. That's a little better. That's a lot better. Okay, I went out and got a 30-gallon trash can. That holds 30 gallons of water. It don't sound like much, but for your chickens, this will last all year, number one. Number two, if you need water, because I'm going to run this to my downspout out here from my gutters. If you need water in an emergency, you will always have it, okay? The only reason I didn't go get a 55-gallon big giant plastic drum is because I can't find none in my area and I wasn't about to drive 40 miles to go get one. Not, not for what I'm doing, number one. Number two, most of y'all, you ain't living in like a country setting or rural area. Getting those 55-gallon drums is kind of hard to come by. So I thought of like... Let me show them something a little bit more easy to get, hands-on. So I went and got this from, you know, Big Box Store, and it was $9 with the lid, okay? Pretty durable, 
is exactly what I needed to do. Now, if you want, they have one that is 40 gallons, I'm sorry, 50 gallon trash can like this with the lid. And it was, I'm sorry, it was 32 gallons because I remember saying it was a dollar a gallon. It was 32 gallons, which is excellent. Okay, you can do this with that. Okay, Renee Brown, I can see have, I can, I can only have four hens, no rooster. So I'm thinking more on the lines of quail and rabbits, but the concept is still the same. This is still the same with even feeding your pets. Okay, so this is kind of a universal thing. Rabbits, uh, all of that stuff. So this trash can cost me nine bucks. Now I'm gonna show you something you gotta go online to go, go get for a pretty decent price. If you don't have a tractor supply near you, Tractor Supply has these, but they cost a fortune. And I, I'm not trying to pay that. See these little, I'm going to get up close. See these little nipples? If you have rabbits or know somebody has rabbits or been in a pet store, you see these all the time. Water comes out. Every time the little animal lick that, water comes out. And the animal, the rabbit, the chicken, whatever, every time they bite that or peck that, water comes out so they can get a drink. So they'll sit there and do this all day. These, I'm gonna be honest with you, I used to use these. The problem with these, they leak, they drip, not constantly. You know, it's kind of like that slow drip in your sink at night, just enough so it's getting on your nerves while you're trying to sleep. It will drip like every few minutes or so. To me, that's making everything around the area wet and moist and mildewy and you know you losing water so these work they're pretty good but they ain't the best so i don't that's why i have a bunch of these and what you do with this you drill a hole in a pipe and you just screw that right in that's a three eighths screw and you screw that in and what I like to do is put a little, these aren't sealed. I just did this just for you guys. Put some silicone on them. Put on a little silicone around it so it don't leak up here. Hook this to your bucket and there you go. But we ain't doing this today. This one costs a little money. Hey, Mama Butterfly, this one costs a little money. We ain't doing this. And this is not my favorite drinker. I'm going to show you my favorite drinker. This is my favorite of all time. I just purchased some more of these for this project. Actually, this is one I had left over from the, the project I did inside the coop. I just ordered um, 10 more. They have 10 more online on, uh, I think, eBay. Uh, it was either 8 or 10 for $9. You can't beat that. These will save all the water. You don't get no leaks. You don't get no drips. Nothing. The only time that water come out is when that chicken pecked at, he filled his, or she, or she fills the bowl up with water. And sometimes she don't have to peck it because if she peck it enough, this will fill up with water and they just come get a drink right out of there. Right out of there. Okay, Renee said, I like the cups for rabbits and, uh, or fowl, any kind. They don't leak so bad. Oh, so you know about these. These are awesome. Awesome. Now, the best part I like about these is they don't poop in these. You know, your animals don't poop in these. That's the biggest problem with water. I was telling y'all last night when I was doing the feeder video. Trying to keep poop out of their water, trying to keep poop and dirt and debris out. Sorry, my alarm went off. Trying to keep poop and water and debris out of their food, that... That's hard to do, but these are a couple of ways we came up and figured out what we're going to do, okay? So this is, we're going to get right at it. Here's that bucket again. Look for this online. This will save you all the money in the world. Hey, Lessie Curls. This is going to save you all the money in the world. I want you to get a good look at that because that is the winner right there. This is Lev Farmer's choice right here. This is this is my choice of the day, okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to make this as easy as possible. I've been running my mouth longer than this video is, uh, this lesson is going to be. Of course, you don't need the lid right now. And I'm going to bring y'all down with me, so hold on tight. That ain't what I wanted to do. That's not really what I wanted to do. Not at all. This ain't an action movie. Okay. Sorry about that. All right, y'all ready? You take your trash can, and this is what I'm going to tell you, okay? This ain't like the waterer. We don't want the hole way down here. And I'm going to tell you why. We want to move this up of at least three to four inches. The reason why is because even though this has a lid to it, all kinds of stuff still get in here. It's not a tight seal. So all kinds of stuff still get in there. Dirt, dust, insects, frogs. If you're in the area like me, frogs get in here. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. That causes a problem. What that is, all that goo builds up dirt, dust, and creatures, dead animals that done snuck in there. That ends up down here. So it won't clog up the cup. So if you keep your cup about four inches up, you ain't got to worry about it getting clogged up by that, that goo and that junk down there. So you want to bring this up about four inches, okay? So this water will never get emptied out. You need to go in there and check your water system every good 90 days or 60 days anyway. So pour that old water out and clean this out real good. Refresh them and put the water back in there. So, and if you got it coming out the downspout too, that's what I'm dealing with. You know, you got leaves going in the trash can. You got debris, all kind of stuff coming off your roof. That's going to end up settling down here. So bring that up about four inches. So that's where we're going to drill at, okay? Now, this, uh, this screw, that's three-eighths inch. Everyone I've gotten so far off of eBay, they're all three-eighths. So I've already got my, no I didn't, thought I did. Put my three eighths inch drill bit. And if you got a Dremel, that'll work too. Put my drill bit in. Okay, I'm gonna take you downstairs so you can stay with me, okay? <clears throat> now, I'm gonna I'm bring this, I ain't, I ain't, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm, okay, that's about four inches right there in my hand. Say five inches, and I'm gonna, eh, I'm gonna put it about right there. That looks like a winner to me. Remember, all of this area is for your debris. That's your that's your junk water right there. Don't go, don't drill this low. Try to eyeball that. Okay, now I'm gonna clean this plastic up. That makes the, the fitting a little tighter. Just like I did the, 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 uh, the feeder last night. Once I move that plastic debris, all the food start coming out like it's supposed to. Okay, Renee Brown said, if you are using this as a water catchment, to water your animals, use vinegar in the water. It will help your animals and keep mosquitoes from breeding in it. Not And you know something else, Renee? Um, I'm so glad you said that because that, I was going to get to that later. The thing about having a nice size watering system is you can also treat your animals, treat your livestock from getting sick from worms and everything else by putting the medication in their water. So you don't have to keep pouring it in a bowl. Then they poop in the bowl and crap and dirt in the bowl and then mess it up. And you got to get rid of that, put more medication in. Like I put diatomaceous earth in my feed. And when it's in my feeder, they don't, you just can't set out diatomaceous earth and they just go for it and start eating it. Okay. You put that in their feed. You put a little bit in their water and they ingest it that way. Okay, without making any mess and taking the right dosage of the medicine. The uh, apple cider vinegar, 
The same deal. And, and it keeps your it keeps your uh, bucket clean too. Other thing about um your container, before I get into this, try to get a dark colored container. The reason for this, if you get a light color container, I was going to make one. I have a 30 gallon container outside. I actually have five of them. And I thought about it. I don't want that clear container. The reason why you don't want that clear container is because with the sunlight going through there, you'll get algae that quick. And you don't know what kind of algae you're going to end up being in there. Get your animals sick, mess the water up and everything else. So try to get a dark color. It don't have to be black, but maybe blue, black, any darker color. Those clear ones and those white ones attract a lot of light. So I usually try to stay away from that when I'm feeding my animals. Now I got that orange big box store um, bucket in my chicken coop but only because it's inside the coop. It's inside the dark. So it never gets algae or anything in it. All right, let's get back at it. I just drilled a 3 8 inch hole and it is literally this simple. Hey, Mutable Earth. Hey, Nene 60. Let me take y'all back downstairs. Now you're gonna take this cup. Now I'm gonna put a little silicone around, around the threading because it don't have a nut. You can buy the one with the nut on the back, which I would because that helps you keep it tighter, but I don't have one. I didn't buy that one, so I ain't gonna worry about it. This this works for me and it's been working for years, so I stick with what I know. I put a little bit of silicone. Come on, silicone. Stop being silly. Come on, silicone. Damn, this silicone is shy. Come on, ain't nobody gonna hurt you. Hold, oh, I didn't, I didn't even bust the seal. I thought I did, like we all do. <laughs> Let me shut up. Look here. All right. Put a little silicone around the threads like this. Just, you know, goop it on. Make sure I'm getting that on the camera. And around the top, because this is going to keep keep the, the water in because I don't want it to leak. So now I'm just going to literally start screwing this into the side of this new trash can. So with that three eighths inch, it's, it's, uh, it's cutting its own threads in there. Can y'all see that? And it's squeezing all that silicone in between the threading so it don't leak. And I'm gonna take that all the way to this stop or where I want it, which is right here, it's nice and tight. I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, now, I, ain't on, I am not on point today. Really? Too much coffee. Okay, now I'm just going to silicone around that real good. Goop it on. Don't be scared. It ain't got to be beautiful. I mean, you ain't making Frankenstein monster either, but it ain't got to be beautiful. All right. Put my silicone away. And people, let this silicone dry. Make sure that's nice and even. Let that silicone dry, and now look what you got. You got a chicken waterer. You got 30 gallon chicken waterer right there. Let me get this label out of here. Okay. 30 gallon chicken waterer right there. So I'm going to let that set overnight, and then I'm going to fill it up with water. Take it out to the coop, fill it up with water. And then I'm going to show y'all what I do with the lid. All I'm going to do with the lid is cut a hole in there so my, and put some screening on there so my gutter can go right in there and let water in. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that, all of that. You can just go out there with your garden hose, fill it up every time you need it filled up, and let it go. That is literally it. I ran my mouth longer about everything else than how long it took 
me to make this water. This will last your chickens and your livestock forever. Oh, this is a 20 gallon, I thought this was 30. This is the 20 gallon trash can. This will last your chickens forever. You hear me? So you don't have to worry when you gone, you don't have to worry about them running out of food with the, with the feeder. What I do with my feeder? With your five gallon feeder, if you make one or two of those and put them out for them, you ain't gotta worry about them running out of food and you ain't gotta worry about them ugh, now running out of water. You got 30 gallons of water for your livestock and all your animals in your yard, okay? Now, if you really wanna get real funky and you got rabbits, you can use this exact same idea and the rabbits might not drink out of this bucket because they got to keep touching that, right? The rabbits are more likely to drink out of one of those nipples. So what you would do is lift this up to the bottom, drill those same holes, and put about four of those little nipples around here. Do the same thing I did with that. Put a little silicone around it. Screw these nipples up under there. and turn it upside down and put two bricks, two cinder blocks on each side so the rabbits can go under there and get them a drink and have a little shade at the same time. It's the same deal. That's actually how I used to have my chicken waterer under a five gallon bucket, like I just said, and I had it hanging from the top of my chicken coop. So that's how simple it is. That's why I do this. And I am not just, now this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up uh, giving this one away because I don't need it, I have one. And this, I'm going to actually put into effect out here in my chicken run because I've been threatening to do this forever and I finally just did it. So this whole thing, this trash can cost me nine bucks. That was the most. These cups, are nine dollars for let's say a dollar a piece okay you're going to end up buying 10 they ain't going to just sell you one unless you want to pay like 19 dollars for one so that one i'm saying it's a dollar the trash can the cup that's 10 bucks all together now i know you got some silicone laying around your house somewhere from some bathroom project that you had trying to seal around your sink and your kitchen I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna add that into the price. But even if you add this into your price, okay, 12 bucks. Just another two bucks. That's it, you guys. It's that simple. So now I'm waiting on my uh my shipment to get here tomorrow. And I ordered those other cups. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put two more, one on this side and one on this side, so the chickens don't be fighting and fussing when they're trying to get a little drink. That's it. So I'm going to take a handful of questions, and then I'm going to get out of here because I know I've been on. Oh, shoot. we only been on 23 minutes. I am on a roll. So I'm going to bring you back downstairs, and let's get at it. <clears throat> All right. Sorry about that. It's getting hotter by the second. It's, no, it's that coffee I drank. That's my problem. Okay. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Bear Fruit Gardener, hello. Hello, Nene60. Hello, Deborah Warren. Okay, or just Deb. I got you, Deb. Thank you, because everybody want their name pronounced differently, and you know. Renee Brown, she said, I can, only, I can only have four hens and no rooster, and so I'm thinking more on the lines of quail and rabbits, but the concept is the same. I read that already, but I thought it was important, so I read it again. Okay, Nakota Israel, great because I have quails. This will, this will work excellent for your quails, excellent. Because y'all know if you buy these feeders and these waters from, even if you get them online, I spent this morning looking at prices and the prices I quoted you last night was pretty much right. Anywhere from uh, $20 to 40 something, almost $50. So this is gonna save you a lot of money, $10? And you can go out and do it right now. You don't got to wait for the man to come ship your stuff to you or nothing. Run out, get it, 10 bucks, put it together, 
and then you have a ten uh ten dollar water or uh ten dollar feeder. I don't what did I say? No. Was the feeder was yeah, ten dollar feeder. So for twenty dollars, you can feed your feed your livestock and water your livestock without you having to get out there and do that crap every single day. That's a headache. And if you have a full-time job or even a part-time job, you know what? We ain't even going to talk about the job. That's just one more thing on your homestead that you won't have to be worrying about. You could be out there doing a thousand different things. And anybody that's a homesteader or even if you're a gardener, full-time gardener, you got a thousand different things to do. You know, your kids got to get off the school bus. You got to get the kids on the school bus. You got to go out there and do this, go shopping, get gas in your car, all of that nonsense. But first, you got to water the chickens and feed the chickens before they die. That's just one more thing. That's, I just saved you about 30 minutes of your life or your day from doing that nonsense. So, okay, keep it rocking. The metal ones are about palm size. Yeah, I, you know what? The metal ones is expensive too. So that's why I don't bother with them. Hey, J Jamaz White, Renee Brown, if you are using this as a water catchment uh, to water your animals, use vinegar in the water. It will help your animals and keep mosquitoes from beating, breeding in it. Not to mention using screen over the top. Yeah, I, we, we mentioned that and I read that again because that was very important. Thank you, Renee Brown. Okay, Bear Fruit Gardener. Apple cider vinegar or white vinegar? It really don't matter. Um, those, those pests don't like vinegar, period. I use apple cider vinegar because, number one, I either make it myself or I buy it when I don't have it. it I mean, one more dollar for the apple cider vinegar to do more for you, and I drink it too, so. Tastes better than the white vinegar to me. The white vinegar been processed. The apple cider vinegar is straight out, straight out of comp. Okay, let me see. Blessings from Charlotte. Hey, EC4400. Okay, Renee Brown, beware of using meds in the water catchment. If you are going to use meds, use a five-gallon bucket for the meds. Otherwise, you may be giving them either way too much med. When I said medication, I didn't mean medication like, you know, the prescriptive. I'm talking about diatomaceous earth, and I'm talking about apple cider vinegar. They'll be fine with that. I don't, I don't medicate my animals like that. If they ain't acting right, relocation program. So I don't, <laughs> I don't do all of that. But you are correct. You are correct about that. Okay, Renee Brown, down and down and not be as effective. True, I got you. That was part of the other. All right, mutable earth. Donna D, I'm late to the party. You never late to my party. Never. My party don't stop. I'm like Diddy, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, where do I purchase the orange water cup? On eBay. You can get it on Amazon, but I, I found it a little cheaper on eBay. Okay. Thank you, Bear Fruit Gardener. She just answered that for me if I would have read ahead a little bit. All right, Bear Fruit Garden, teach me how to make a simple rain rainwater thingy using a trash can so I can save it to water the garden. I just don't know what pieces to buy. Super simple. Those are the pieces that I tried not to make it so difficult. All it is is a piece that goes, you're going to drill a hole in, in the bucket. And it's a piece that you put on the end of this tube with the screw, the, the threads on it, just like I just showed you on the end of that cup. You're going to screw that into the, the uh, garbage can. And then you're going to buy the nut fitting that screws on so this tightens together up against there. Then, or, or, you said rain catchment so you can water the garden. I'm sorry, I'm still thinking about feeding animals. You can buy the plastic nozzle, hose nozzle, that we doing the same thing. Screw that in there, drill the hole, screw your, your nozzle, just like on the side of your house, screw that in there, and then get the fitting to go in the back of that and keep that tight. Always use silicone, trust me, or the leak. Screw that in, and there you go. You hook your water hose to that, and you can water stuff until your water is gone out of here. I ha I've had it like that. Matter of fact, I got I got a video on 
my water catchment system. That's been about, I'm gonna say four years ago. I did that video three or four years, about four years ago. Worked excellent until I got, you know, uh, the little pump I threw out there in the creek. And once I got my sprinkler system put in, I kind of didn't need it no more. So I sold them. Okay. Nini 60, are you going to put more than one cup? Yes, I'm going to put, I'm going to put two more because the reason why two more is because the back of this is going to be up against the wall out there, up against the garage wall. And I'm going to have one on this side, one in the front, and one on this side. So it's going to be one, two, three. The reason why I want, you don't need a whole bunch of them. You really don't. Because the chickens only come and get a little water here and there. The only reason, you really only need one. The only reason I'm putting several, because they like kids. One will be drinking some water, and then the other ones will see, I want some water too. I'm telling mama, you didn't want none until I had some. You didn't even want none. Chickens do the same thing. So they start beating each other up because of doggone water that they don't even really want. They just get on each other's nerves. So I found that once I put more cups around, one away from over here, one over here, one over here, they don't fight as much. You will even catch one drinking out of this one, and this one on this side, she'll come over here and start messing with her. But still, that's just them being assholes. But still, they won't, they won't be in the just rip down bloody battle like they normally do if you only have one spot to water them. That's why I'm putting several. You really don't need several, but that will keep your, your fights down. And trust me, when they fight, they make a lot of noise. And... Okay, let me keep it going. Uh, what is the what is the orange cup called? It's it's a um a poultry cup, a poultry watering cup. If you want to look for that on on uh um eBay, either a poultry cup, a poultry poultry watering cup, or uh, you can look under poultry waterer or chicken waterer. Believe it or not, when you put chicken water and poultry water, a whole different list of things come up with different prices. This is just unfair, but it is what it is. Okay, I've been on 32 minutes and I just showed you guys everything I know and how simple this is. I didn't want to make this long because I want you guys to be able to come back and get right to the junk. You can skip past all the garbage that I was talking about in the beginning, even though I wasn't kidding around. All this information I gave you in the beginning was pretty important. So, but if you want to get right to the instructions, just skip over that stuff and go, go back and watch that later. Because it's this simple. 30 gallon chicken waterer. Now, when I put this outside, I'm going to put it on one of the pallets that I, I actually made for my beehives. I'm going to set it on a pallet and set it up on a couple of cinder blocks. So it's lifted up off the ground like this a little bit. Just so, the, and it's just for convenience. So the chickens don't got it bent down so far. Cause when they bend down, they ain't got no lips. So to hold the water in, you know what I'm saying? They just got this. And if they bend down too, too far, they ain't really getting no water. So I like to lift it up a little bit. So they just, you know, neck height. So they can just put it in the bottom of their beak and then guzzle it down, they good. So that's the only reason I'm doing that. I think about them, you know, I'm, I'm a kind guy. So that's about it, you guys. Um, oh, Stephanie Valdez, it's okay. It ain't, you ain't never late to the party. Y'all know I stay doing this all day. Um, yes, you can alter this for a dog. You can alter this for any kind of pet. Okay. Mutable Earth, thank you, Led. You and Lady Led need to write instruction booklets to go with your videos. You know what? I think I may have her do that because that's her field. She's an English major. So that's not the worst idea in the world. I appreciate that idea. I'm going to run that past her when she get home. Hey, P. Smith. I'm on my way out now. So I still got some plants. to. I got to go plant her uh, elderberries. I planted all them trees the other day. She said, did you plant my elderberries? You went out and bought all them trees, making videos, stuff you ain't playing my elderberries. 
So I better go plant them elderberries for I get a whooping. Mama ain't happy about that. So any questions before I roll out of here, y'all? Oh, oh, YouTube is sickening. Start making money. Yeah, we make a little money on the side with, with the book sales and stuff like that. I ain't going to get rich no time soon. But about last night, if you guys watch my video on, on the food feeder and my video shut off, I found out what happened. I'm going to say this, then I'm going to let y'all go. Found out what happened. Remember, I, I can't even mention the song. Remember, I started the video out with a certain song from a certain movie that I thought was hilarious. I have never been shut down. They actually literally shut that video down. Like, I can't even post it. It wasn't just, because sometimes, y'all know, I don't care about the money part of it. They wouldn't let me play it. I literally had to go in and remove that song off of that video. I didn't want to do the video over again. So I had to do some strand. I stayed up late last night trying to figure out how to take that one part of that, that uh, video off. So when you go back and watch that video again, you will notice I'm getting right into it. The song is gone. But while I was getting rid of the song, it also got rid of all of my live feeds. So all of the stuff that y'all were saying and the advice and everything else is gone. But I figured the information was more important. So that's what happened. YouTube shut me off last night. So before they shut me off again today, uh, I don't know why I've been, you know, I, I don't hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? But before they shut me off again, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to answer a couple of quick questions and then, and then we're going to get out of here. Okay. Oh, no, no questions so far? Good. We're going to call it a wrap then, you guys, all right? I hope you guys learned something. Uh, okay. You on the watch list probably... I don't know why. Maybe because I had gun videos, me shooting guns. I don't know. Making wine and gun. Maybe that's it. What's that? Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, yeah. That don't mix. Maybe. But they see I ain't doing nothing. Okay. Uh, Donna D said, you had me trying to find Kroger store near me so that I could... <laughs> So now I can look for fruit trees. The closest one is 140 miles away. Jesus. For that, you can just order you something with that gas money cost. So, all right, you guys, that's it. I'm not going to stay on here. Oh, Sophie B said, me too. Well, look, if y'all live close to me, I can go out and try to find y'all something. And we can work something out on trying to get it to you. Let's try that. So I'm going to get out of here. I hope this helped you guys, especially you guys with your gardens and your livestock and your pets watering so you can take a break and go and remember that you're human because gardening and home, especially homesteading, can get overwhelming. And trust me, I know. It can, hey, New Orleans gardener. How you doing, Ma? Good to see you. This stuff can get overwhelming, especially with all the chores that you have to do every day. Some of the stuff that I'm showing you guys this year is just so to cut back on a little bit of those chores and let your ingenuity work for you. Let your ingenuity work for you. This, this idea only to y'all see if you cut out all the talking and watch how long it took me to make this. Drill a hole, put on some silicone, screw this cup in and you're done. Wait till tomorrow and fill it up with water. That's how fast that was. That only took three minutes. That could actually save you 30 minutes or more of you watering your livestock or feeding your livestock every day. Changing the water, cleaning the water, uh, cleaning out your, your chicken. Here's a, here's a little uh, chick feeder right here. See that little reservoir? All of that is, this is for water, but all that water get doo-doo in it and, and dirt, and you got to dump that out, clean it out. All the water in here drains out, and then you got to start all over. That's a waste of time, a waste of water, and it gets your chicken sick. Now, I just made you a way that you don't got to worry about that no more. So, that's it, you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys, uh, uh, alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, the ATF. Yeah, I know. So, no worries. All right, I hope you guys...
got a little information. Hope it worked out for you. If you make this, please let me know. I want to know how it worked out for you, okay? So I'm going to get out of here. I better go plant them elderberries. My oh, mama going to give me a whoop. Mama going to whoop me. <laughs> my, my grades are bad. Hey, what you want? All right, you guys. Lev Farmer 73, I love you, and I'm out.